Hi, I'm Seth, the owner of Mountain Home in beautiful South Lake Tahoe. And I'm Rebecca. I hope you enjoy this video tour. I'm glad you can take the time to watch it. I think you'll enjoy our house as much as we do. Come on in. We designed Mountain Home to be unique in that we needed it and wanted it to provide a home-like environment for whoever used it, but at the same time be large enough and convertible enough so that many different kinds of groups could utilize it successfully. Our groups range from family reunion groups and weddings to church groups and youth groups, all the way through to many different kinds of business groups that find us uh, better than other things they've used in the past to uh, be able to stay together and interact together, but at the same time have enough space both for their functions and for privacy if it's time to get away and have some quiet time. Some of the groups that have used us are Stanford University dorm groups, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and many of the dot-com companies from the Bay Area. Sometimes we come down here after a hard day in the office if it's not booked and we'll just build a fire and sit around. It's that comfortable. The way we came up with the idea is we had a, a large family and we have family reunions every two years. Of course we all wanted to stay together so we asked several of the neighbors if we could use their house and we rented them and slept nose to toe 23 in a three bedroom house. And that's when it hit us. What if we used this big place for a large group family retreat? It was a risk back then. Nobody would ever done it before or ever seen anything like it. But it actually worked out pretty well. Okay, here we have a wonderful large room that is presently set up as a dining area for 12 people and a nice family room around the fire. But this is very convertible, removing the hide-to-bed sofas you can set up an, many additional tables and have it seat 40 for dining. Here we have our wonderful large group kitchen that everybody loves, especially the women. It's fully stocked with all the things for the needs of our large groups. Uh, we have a lot of things that you wouldn't expect to have in this kind of situation. We do have all the pots and pans and as you can see large stock pots, cups, bowls, everything for our large groups including lots of glasses. Okay, uh, We have two small coffee makers but we also have one of the big humongous ones too so um, we're really set up for your large group. Uh, we have two brand new dishwashers as we do uh, all of the appliances. We have two of all the appliances. These are great um, high-powered dishwashers. It'll get all your dishes washed really quickly. And uh, we have several drawers of silverware. And a lot of people want to know about uh, what kinds of utensils we have. We have every utensil you could possibly want. In addition to that, we've got bowls and lots of stainless steel bowls, lots of everything that you would want. Um, we also have two wonderful stoves here that not only are regu have regular ovens, but they also have the feature of converting to uh, confection ovens for your quick cooking. We have all blenders, coffee makers, mixers. We've got two microwaves and two big refrigerators with ice makers. We also have two washers and two dryers. We're in a constant process of improvement around here. Last year we put in all pergo floors and new carpet. This year we had a project to do the slate floors in the kitchen and the granite countertops. We replaced all the appliances with stainless modern top-of-the-line appliances that I think will really meet your needs. Here we have our recreation room with a pool table and this is a favorite for lots of our guests. In addition to the use of the pool table, all of our seating is in the form of futons that will accommodate an extra 10 people. We're told by 
many of our parents that one of their favorite features is that they can be sitting in here in the rec room watching the game and still keep an eye on their children that are in the hot tub right outside. Just outside the recreation room is a hallway area that has all of your extra tables and chairs and towels and extra blankets and comforters for all the common area sleeping. Here we have our large group bathrooms. These are very unusual. They each have two private stall toilets. One has three showers, one has four, and they each have a big bank of mirrors and several sinks. A lot of our groups designate one a um, male bathroom, one a female bathroom, and that seems to work very well. Now I'm going to show you the bedrooms that are on the main level. This one is unusual, like several of our bedrooms are. It has two double bunk beds. So you can potentially sleep eight people in this room. Just off the game room, we have a double bunk bedroom. And again, this will sleep eight people. Here we have a single bunk bedroom with two single bunk beds and a double futon. So as you can see, we can sleep six people in this room. Here we have our queen bunk bedroom. Queen bunk beds, everybody says. I've never seen queen bunk beds, and they probably haven't, because we had them custom made for Mountain Home, and it will sleep another eight people. Here's another bathroom right next to our queen bunk bedroom. It's got a tub and shower combination and a separate shower, as well as the whole bank of sinks and mirrors. Here we have the bedroom right above the main level, and we have two double beds here, all ready for four people. And right next door we have another bedroom with two double beds. Here's the bathroom that serves the upper level. And in addition to the two sinks, it has a jetted big bathtub, suitable for two people. On the very top level, we have a very charming attic style bedroom with a queen bed and a double futon. Here's the bunkhouse, and we have two single bunk beds over here, and another single bunk bed here, and a futon. We've been in business since 1989, serving large groups. Two things that you don't usually find together. We're homey, but at the same time, we're designed for large groups. Even though we're four seasons, I have to admit, we have a preference for the winter. It's just beautiful up here, and there's nothing like sitting by a cozy fire. And by the way, firewood is provided.